Hello everybody and welcome to the season finale of Telltales The Walking Dead Season 2 Last time we had a bit of a major um, stuff going on the double bill Oh god I'm going to get over Sarah's death I'm going to get a bit of a suck for children done But it's The Walking Dead it's not, it's not meant to be forgiven Forgivable even and oh jeez we have not made it about to uh, kick off so uh, I'm, not, I'm a bit nervous to see what happens let's hope I was expecting for um if you people, some people turn up and Chadwick off the keyboard, off the keyboard, Chad. Chadwick off. Come here, come here. What is? Come on, come here. Come here, good boy. Hello. Hello, Jack. Oh my good boy. Ow. Good boy. You sit back a bit further and you keep him kind of cut up. Come on. Come on in. Chad. So get the sun by sticking in. Chad, off the keyboard. Oh, he's being a sod. In the backside. You are sorry. Anyway, so you get started. Game. Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Come here. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Chad! Here. Oh. Keep it. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Everybody be Oh my god. Oh God! What's so? What happened? I know. Thank you for reminding me. I'm scared now. Oh, hi, Sax. What?
Chad, wake up the people! Chad, up the... Hey, boy! The baby! Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Oh, I got him. Chad, he's pretty naughty. Oh, okay. You're naughty. Ow, don't. Jesus me. Christ. You were told to That was, uh. That was intense. I thought. Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Stop it. Stop it. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way, that didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker, but it's different. I didn't think it would be, but it is. Come on.
this happen. She turned. Just like that. Don't you go blaming yourself, Kenny. You did what you had to. To protect the boy. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She would have been a good mom. Yeah. Yeah, she would have. Don't worry, Becca. Sorry, I'll we'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. You piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get off guys, me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. Is it his house? Food? Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you... Shut! Huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. He's lying. We can't trust him. It's oh. worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should oh, go I anyway. Oh, I hit the wrong button, sorry. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. <sighs> we got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I, I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good, but I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. But he's lost. Yeah. I've noticed that, too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work... I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slowpokes! That didn't talk to you, Sax. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just that has lost us all the same. Hey, Ted, come here! Wait, we need to stop. No, 
No, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. That's enough. Leave him alone. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. <laughs> Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of piss and matches too. I've noticed that too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other or something. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. <sighs> Damn it. Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. Most of us did. You basically had to be carried. Oh, chat off the keyboard, darling. <laughs> Sit in the snow. Lean up against a tree. Bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead. For no good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos. Sarah. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No. Not completely. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. And I gotta live with it. All right. This should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. Luke's feeling bad about what happened. A what? Really? But it's not your fault. Bad things happen and we can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. All right. It, can we drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. I don't know. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting. But only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. 
I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. <laughs> you shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Oh dear. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? Are you going to be okay? Oh, I'll be fine, darling. Gonna take a lot more than a couple smacks with the radio to take me out. I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. <sighs> so, this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. <sighs> Holy fucking hell! <sighs> you need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. I should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Junior here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? We just want to eye patch for Kenny. We just want to eye patch for Kenny so he can be a pirate. Arrgh. No, I don't. <laughs> I couldn't help it. What are you doing, Chad? What are you doing? Is that it? Hey, I'm I have talking to What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Ugh. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want. Okay, but I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. 
Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You're natural. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. <laughs> Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. I really like school. Just a waste of money. Well, the major in art history hasn't helped too much the last few years. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, man. All it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. I feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. I can take it. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Don't take the baby! Fire's Don't real take nice. the baby! Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. Guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey! <laughs> alright, alright, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about 
hissing stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth, rat. Sorry, that was fun. It's all about kissing stuff. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I doubt it. Thanks a lot, Clem. <laughs> oh, I, I don't mean it like... It's okay, Luke. She's just not impressed. Apparently not. Come on, Clem. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry, it's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. <laughs> Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? You know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You wanna sit? It's okay. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> you can be the designated mm. driver then. Cool. <laughs> but I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now, there aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the cool. bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glass is, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Holy shit. I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No. 
That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. I'm I'm sorry about your sister. Poor Alva. They could have put him towards the could put him towards the fire. Oh no, but Kenny wouldn't like that, would he? There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. Just uh, needed some air. Kenny. There's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help. And I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You... you really hurt my feelings. I did my best, and... I know. I was just... in darkness. And you showed up... with some light. But I thought I needed to stay there... a little longer. When I should have went with you. Okay. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple of years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Koch's face. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out. I'm going to try and believe that, too. It's going to be different with him. He's going to get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. Seems secure enough, for one night anyways. I don't trust leaving that fence unattended. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. All right, enough of that. Hey, you Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost Kenny his sister did. today. And whose fault was that? Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. 
<laughs> I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. I'm gonna say, how long can you speak sex? And now you not. <laughs> oh, oh yori. Sorry. This episode is depressing, man. Thinking the whole Walking Dead is a depressing franchise. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? Oh, sorry. No trouble. It's like, how close long further. could you speak? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm oh, really shit. starting to think you're full of shit. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah. That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. Oh. What is it, what the term is? There. Seven clock, isn't it? That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Right, for now, are you learning more oh, languages? Just walk over? Maybe Why there's the... a way around. I don't see any. Why? Say it in American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. Well, I just have a feeling that people are going to fall through the ice. Oh, God. Someone's going to fall through the ice and die. Ah. 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 I don't like the sex. We're okay. Don't worry. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! We got some 
some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Oh fuck! That's too much uh. to deal with. Just stay spread out, and we'll be fine. Hey, motherfucker! Shit, he's gonna kill him. Uh, Kenny, get back here, you piece of shit! No! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Well, they made it. <laughs> oh, God. Luke! No! Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. No. Oh, you got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be careful. Oh, no, no. Please. Stop. Stop. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. You need help, Luke. The ice is too thin. I got it. You need to help. No. Clem, go! Go, through. go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! just go back for him! You're light! You Stop do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time! Clem, you can make it, but you need to go! No, now. Clem, it's too dangerous! Oh, I hope I turned the light! Thanks, Hi. thanks! I'll be on a sec, just, just keep shooting! Make uh, my, my leg. I just Hold need on, a, I got it. Rest a second. Uh, keep him off us, No, no, it's too much. Too shut much up! Weight. Shut the fuck up! I got you. Wait, did Luke? Buddy, why? I got you. Come on, come on. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go to the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck, she's gonna fucking freeze to death. <laughs> I love how you saw my head. Fuck it. started to go there wasn't nothing any of us could do you could have you could have helped him don't listen to her Clem this ain't on you you son of a bitch this is your fucking fault Kenny don't man to what it's nobody's damn fault I'm freezing can we just get a fire started Look at this place. 
Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit, <laughs> Teddy! Fuck you. you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... You got a light? I thought I had matches. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? I believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. Oh shit. Oh shit, fuck that. Glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand up back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem.
What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago. Just before I met Ken. Alright, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Wish they'd finished this place. <clears throat> what do you want? I just wanted to see how you were. <sighs> how do you think? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Luke was pretty like to pull himself out. I don't think it would have much difference. <laughs> oh, we do the French body timer now, are we? Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. I've seen it too. A few times. 
Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too, once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. I guess we're getting close. That's what worries me. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Hooray, Shaq! It works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, some place warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! You can't just walk away from us! better talk some sense into him. 
for his sake. God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me. Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. This is different. How? Where are we gonna find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What'd you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And that we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know... When I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. Cause we gotta be ready. there. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clem. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. down. Let's talk about this, Mike. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Come on, Mike. Let's just go. Oh. 
All right, Clem. Now I'm gonna walk up to you nice and slow, and you're gonna give me the gun, okay? Why are you doing this? He didn't give us any choice. Он злой человек. I'm sorry, Clem. Just give me the gun, Clem. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'll shoot. There we go. There we go. It's fine. Just What the hell, Oliver? No, no, don't pull this bullshit on me. Don't you fucking pull this bullshit on me. Don't you fucking pull this bullshit on me. No, no, don't you think about it. Don't you fucking think about it. Try this one out. Oh God. Clementine. Huh? Uh, Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What? What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Doug? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad? Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. I think we should have let Lily stay. I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That it'll be okay. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> the 
let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Okay, um on the left. Slow down. Shut up. She's awake. Hey, you clam. Oh, thank God. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I don't care where we go, just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you! You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! What the heck? Okay. I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny... Fucking asshole. God, 
can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Um. It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit... God, Jane? Jane? Oh, Christ, it's alive. Why? Oh, no. Oh god, that And if you have, I am unmodding you. <laughs> and you can sacrament when you give that to me. Oh god. Oh, 
Thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? the kid? Jane, where is he? Where is he? He's... What are you saying? No. 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 No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. I don't understand! You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Do it. Just... just do it. Oh, God! <laughs> what? No! Oh. 
Nine days later, what happened? What happened? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, fuck. Don't be good. Stink up the baby! 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 <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm just trying <laughs> sorry, I'm just trying to bother in the dark time. Oh Jesus. Oh come on! Oh, come on! She's not going to try to communicate with the walkers. And that is The Walking Dead Season 2. I need to double check, but I believe the next season is um, probably what it's called now. Yeah, it's the final frontier. Um, I'm not going to do the mission DLC because I'm not really a fan of the TV show, so I don't think it's going to make much sense to me, so we won't be doing that. But next year, we, The Walking Dead, a new frontier. Can Clementine and AJ survive on themselves? Will they find some new friends to help them? We've got a stinky Chad to take goodbye as well. But this is important, Sax. So you listen to this? Instead, that is the 
instead of doing a stream Wednesday, we're doing a Halloween special on Tuesday as we're going to see our old friend the curator as he tells us of the story of the devil in me and as we go to a murder hotel. And hopefully this stinky boy will be with us and hopefully I'm not going to see him in his, um, in his, um, hello, in his Halloween outfit. He has a separate new Halloween outfit. I don't think he'll put it on for the whole stream, but, yeah. He'll be in a shop pod. He'll be in a shop pod. <gasps> Thank you for the stop! And bit, fuck off, Sax. Fuck off, Sax. Fuck off, it's been two years. That made up 90 for more than two years. Jesus. Come on, chat, come back, darling. And then after, um, afterwards, um, Sax, um, we are going to go back to your adventures in the wastelands of Colorado. And then, after that, we're gonna after um we finish Wasteland Three. We we are going to do a, a, a kind of a similar vibe to what we did with Dangan Wumper, but let's just say we're gonna be meeting an Ace Attorney. But yep. Yeah, I'll see you all Tuesday as we um, do the final Dark Picture Anthology of Season 1 and hopefully we'll get some a new season lot of games will be coming out soon and in the meantime if you're watching this on YouTube hit the like button, subscribe, and ring button, if you're watching the twist, give us a follow and a sub um, I'm going to see who's on at the moment so we can jump in for a raid I know it's a bit too early for someone I normally would raid but I'm sure we can find something else to do. Oh, I think I know who we're going to um, raid. Um, it's one of uh, a more of a newer friend that um, I got to know. I believe she's first been a SAS gaming, but she is um, playing. Um, oh, God, she's playing. Um, Baldur's Gate 3. And she's a, she's a fellow GIF Yankee. Yeah. Definitely could be doing Baldur's Gate 3 in the, in the future. Maybe the other games? If I, if I'm sure club. Anyway, we're going to be lady, raiding Lady Raven. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.